Hi everybody, in this video we're going to do uh, something a little different. So I had a viewer ask me how to make a nighttime scene. So they wanted to add stars and moon. So, and a moon. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. So I did download this package. It's called the Real Stars Skybox. And it's right here. It's called Geo uh, De L'Amour. That's the, the publisher, the guy that made it. And it's called the Real Star Skybox Lite. Now I had told uh, my viewer that you could use the particle system. And you can. And I'm going to show you, you guys how to do that as well. But first I want to show you just with this skybox. So if I go to my scene view and I you know, go to the, the folder called Real Star Skybox. And I go to the sty Star Skybox 04. Uh, they have different ones with names of the stars so like this it has the names of the stars and of the constellations like this but yeah so we're just gonna go to the regular one and we'll just drop this in and as you can see we already got stars so this is one way we could add stars and let's say we wanted to draw our own stars we could you know draw our own stars in GIMP or whatever program you guys have just drag and drop it into your your project folder and then um, just I'm gonna show you guys how you guys would make a skybox right now but pretty much you would right click go create hit material and then after that you just name your material so sky or star starry sky and then you would go over here to the shaders go to skybox and then choose one of these and then the one I really like is a, a cube map or a panoramic either one is good and then all you would do is drag in you know your texture that you want to use so let's say I want to use this one right here or you have to use a cube map so to better show you guys go to panoramic instead and right here you could use a texture so then you just drag in your texture and let's put this starry sky into the box and as you can see we get these weird looking stars and you could you know adjust it as you want you could rotate it as you want and uh, yeah you could also you know change it to a cube map and this package already has a cube map so all I would have to do is drag it in and this one looks a little better I could you know change the exposure the rotation uh, even if the color if I felt like it so yeah you could play around with that and uh, there's more uh, there's procedural procedural it would be hard for you to give it a starry look you would have to use particle the particle system because all you would be able to do is uh, darken your 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 scene and then um, there's one more there's a six-sided now six-sided this is where you would be able to draw your your textures or your images and then just drag them in so um, just drag them in and once you're done dragging them all in, you know, you just add your exposure. And as you can see, it, you can see all the images. But let's say add the exposure. And as you can see, it just does the front side. And when you keep on adding them, it does fill everything up. So that's why you need six for these. And then uh, you could also rotate it as well. So that's pretty much that for the, the material one. But let's say you want to use a particle system. So I'm going to use the default skybox and I'm going to set the um, directional light. I'm going to change it so it could be dark. So now it's completely dark. Now you could add a particle system. So you just go to effects, particle system, and we'll just name this stars. Now here, what you would have to do is first let's zero this out and let's just move it a little back just so we can kind of see it and it's not in our face. Uh, let me drop this down and now we can see it a little better. So for this, what we would first want to do or what I first did is that we're gonna go over here to duration. We're gonna change this to 0.5 and we're gonna change the lifetime to 0.5 as well. Now starts, we're gonna keep pre-warm check because pr what pre-warm does is uh, it loads it before your scene or whatever as soon as your scene starts it's already playing so it's already fully playing so I'll show you in a minute what that would look like but anyways other uh, start size I'm gonna change that to 2.8 so we could see it a little better uh, there's gonna be this simulation speed this is well actually let's let's change this shape so you guys could see this 
in action. So we're going to go to shape and the shape. I'm just going to increase it to maybe something like I'm going to set it to 365. Just that way it's definitely covering everything. And then I'm going to set this to 50 and 50. So that's the scale of the object. So now you can see it's just a big old cone. And that's another thing I'm going to change. It's going to be an actual box and not a cone. So now if I go to my game, it's kind of, you won't, you're not really able to see it, but I could always adjust this right here, the Z axis or, you know, change the positioning. So after that, you could see these blinking and of course we don't want this for stars. We don't want it to be blinking. We want, we might want to blink here and there, but not like this. So in simulation speed, we're going to drop this down to 0 0.0008. Now, if you want to see more blinking or whatever, you could just, you know, remove a zero. And as you can see, you'll be able to see blinks here and there. So I'm going to leave it like that just so you can see the little blinks. But if you don't want to see those, just, you know, make this a smaller number. And then um, after that, rate over time. So we go to emission rate over time. We're going to increase this. I'm going to set this to 500 just because I've I tested this already before. So now we can see a bunch of these little stars. And as you can see, they're blinking real good. So after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to size over lifetime. So over here, size over lifetime. I'm going to check this. And as you can see, we get small stars, big stars here and there. Now, these are curves that are preset curves. So I'm going to check, choose this preset right here. So it's going to start huge and it's going to end up small. And then you could just play around with this. So you could just add the optimize button button so it could optimize the curve for you. So as you can see, now we have this set of stars. Now I could increase the scale or I could just, you know, move it closer to me depending on, um, you know, what you prefer. So, you know, I can increase the scale and now it's down below. Now, if you don't see like uh, the scaling happening right away, all you would have to do is pretty much just click the reset on your scene view. And as you can see, it scales right away now. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do the stars. It's pretty much done. Like I said, um, let me go back here. Like I said, if you see too much the stars, you know, uh, twinkling, you could just set this simulation speed to a smaller number. So I'll just add another zero. And as you can see, there's no, not too much twinkling. And then, oh, another thing uh, you would have to do is change the start speed to uh, zero. That would also help with the stars uh, flickering on and off. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now let's make a moon. Now for the moon, all you got to do is make a 3D object, a sphere. And as you can see, our sphere appeared way over here. So let's just zero this out and move it closer to us. But before we move it closer to us, let's actually make it bigger. Let's make it like 10 by 10 by 10. Now this all depends on you, what size you want your moon to be. And then you could also, you know, get it closer and further back. So it could look like it's scaled up and down. And then we're going to go to our project. We're going to go to assets and we're going to, if you don't have a materials folder, you know, you could either create one or just put it wherever you want. As you can see, I've already created one and I created the star one before, but I'm going to do it once again, just so you guys can see. So let's delete this real quick. Now we're going to go to create again, material. This is going to be the moon. Now the moon, uh, we got to go to our scene and to our sphere. We, we could drag it in like this, but we could also drag it in just like this as well. So now we have our moon material here. So now there's this website. I'm going to link all these links down below, you know, for this package and for this texture. Now, uh, you do have to probably look, see if you could even use this in your, if it's a commercial project, cause I'm not sure if you can, this is, you know, just an example. So, you know, make sure you read everything and to see if like you could use this in your project. But anyways, select whatever resolution you want. I chose, I chose a resolution of, uh, it was a 2k resolution. So maybe since I downloaded it, it we can't see it no more, but it was a 2K. So it was 2000 by a thousand something. And I'm just gonna drag this into my project. And there it is. Now with the material selected, I'm gonna drag this into the albedo. And as you can see, we already got this moon looking thing. 
and here's a little example too of the moon now I don't know why it's so far away but uh, it's easier to look at the, the sample right here or what you're doing right here but it's far away so we're just gonna look at the scene view right here now we got this moon now you could change you know the metallic or whatever to fit your your preference so I'm just gonna you know decrease the smoothness a bit decrease the metallic all the way and then we'll go to our game view and for our normal map the way I usually do this is I'll duplicate the albedo if I do not have a normal map already and then with the let's just rename this to moon uh, normal so we don't get confused now with this moon normal texture selected I'll go to texture type I'll select um, normal map right here I'll check create from grayscale and then I'll just leave the bumpiness but you could adjust the bumpiness depending on how you want it and then just hit apply now it'll give us this weird image right here and uh, we'll just go to the material and put it into the normal map section right here so let me go up so this normal map and as you can see we get we got these bumps already now we could adjust these bumps by you know changing the numbers right here the scale the normal map scale so as you can see it you could even see the little formations and you know you just scale it to what you want and to top it off right here in emission you can click emission and uh, right here where it says color you can add you know a bright color so it brightens up the moon a bit so let's uncheck it you can see the difference so it all depends on what you you like but yeah you could you know change the emission and just set it to what you want and uh, yeah that's pretty much it if there's something I was missing just let me know but yeah that's it uh, if you guys enjoyed this video if you, if you guys found this video helpful if you guys learned anything hit that like button if you want to keep seeing seeing more videos like this hit that subscribe button and also, if you want to see a, a certain video, just leave me a comment. I'll make it as soon as possible. This video, like I said, it was requested by a viewer. So, yeah. Thank you guys once again.